What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and we're doing a Pokemon video. And what? We're not doing Hidden Fates for for what? How is that possible? We are opening up one of these. What are these like? They call power power team something tins. Um, ooh. The main point is we want the code card for this so we can get some more Mew Mewtwo's. I think I managed to pull one from the limited code cards I had. And that way we can get start playing some PTCGO again. I feel like uh, it's been a little bit since I've been on there. Um, but last time I played, I kept getting owned by this deck. So if you can't beat them, join them, I guess. And this will allow me to do so. And we can just kind of talk about these products. Obviously, this is being super overshadowed by all the insane hype that is Hidden Fates. And plus, like, I don't know, something in travel this... Something happened like Mewtwo and Mew were about to bust out of the tin, but, mmm, oh, nope. So this is the real prize for us. Want to use you on the online game. I do like these tins still. I think it's a very good product. Oh, I have about a billion of these now, so I don't need that. And these tins, I do enjoy using them for storing bulk. Alright. So, let's see what the pack selection... Ooh, Lost Thunder! Um, yeah, X, XY is the... Uh, oh, it's all like a meme. And we actually have uh, four other Unified Mind Packs. I actually have not sure where these came from. I think it's when we were doing openings from booster boxes and those were just left over. Uh, XY, I saw a meme that had like Thanos in a, like, or maybe it was on a post on Pokey Beach. And it's just like, Thanos is, I am in inevitable. And it's referring to these uh, XY Packs. But you know what? Hey, it's a change of pace. So I honestly, you know, in a weird way welcome it or as long as it's only like one per product that's okay slowbo spirit link vulpix electabuzz downgraded magic oh the og magikarp art same thing for the ghastly oh not bad reverse energy i'll take those you know those these those will you know always have some use so actually that's worthy of a sleeve where the ultimate is like if you can swag your deck with the secret ones, but this is the I don't know the middle ground I guess suppose. All right, let's get go through this Lost Thunder. Don't I'm not gonna need this code card. I'm gonna be a little stingy on the code cards just because my goal here is to play some PDCGO. So I'm gonna keep most of the hidden Unified Minds ones. Uh, four. Okay, yeah, I know what I'm doing. All right, Memory Energy. Oh, Lost Thunder, it's been quite a while. Thought, I, although that's kind of confusing me because uh, I feel like people make, not a big deal, but they always mention Lost Thunder is out of print. But then why are, they, why are they in here? Or how are they in here? Mellow Edda and Unknown. Nothing to write home about. I did not sleeve this really cool promo. Let's take a quick look. So I will say that in my opinion, these products are great, you know, and yeah, it's kind of like delayed, but I think that's okay. I feel like that's a good middle ground where I'm, we'll just use myself, for example. You know, I want to play the online game and like the, whoa, this is like opened already. That's weird. If it didn't come from inside this tin, I'd be a little suspicious. Uh, what was I saying? The, this product, okay. You know, it comes with so many good cards, like, even the promo aside, like, for me, the promo is a big deal, but it comes with a lot of super useful supporters as well. So, like, that Reshizard box, and then these ones, you know, I, I think they're great for a competitive side where it's like, alright, if maybe the stuff is kind of expensive, although the secondary market is always cheap for Pokemon. Whoa, man, these things are like... No glue. If it didn't, um, actually, I think these were the leftover from the booster box. Maybe just the glue aired out or something. I don't know. But 
Sorry, I keep losing my train of thought. Uh, if you do want to play competitive, you do have to wait a little bit, but it makes it much more affordable. Although probably in secondary market, actually this will obviously drive the prices down in secondary market as well. So I do appreciate that aspect. It kind of reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like all like the Megatons and they keep reprinting so many cards. You know, for from a collectability, if you if people are into like flipping cards, that can be kind of a pain. But you know, from the player from the player side, that's only good news. It only makes the prices go lower, makes it much more affordable. At the end of the day, I guess like uh on the pokemon side you know there's a lot of like young divisions and stuff like that so making it so that it's very easy for them to play the game i'm well uh, very behind that in fact like i wouldn't even be honestly i wouldn't be super mad oh tortuga i forgot about you and there you are when we least expect you put you right there we're gonna find you a perfect fit in a second so and we're getting good pulls Yveltal, that's a rare, a, a reverse rare. Uh, okay, yeah, if if the alternate arts, and they look amazing. I feel like they're used typically the best art. And that's just like the cherry on top that I wouldn't even be mad if they took that away. So like, let's say they gave you the full art. They, they put back in the alternate art for another, you know, another secret rare. At this point, there's going to be more secret rares than there are non-secret rares. But we have the alternate art in the regular set, and it's just like the full art. You know, sometimes it feels like the forgotten middle child as far as the rarity goes. That way, and the end result is, you know, the devalues it tins a little bit, but at the same time, you still get the advantage. You can play with it for whatever, $25, you can get those cards into your deck. Even I would be okay with this. And like the fact that they're doing the alternate arts right now, like just to me, I, I really like this product. This, this wave is obviously being super really overshadowed by Hidden Fates for a good reason. So yeah, if you have any uh, opinion on that, let me know in a comment down below. And all right, we only have two packs left. We have no good pulls. I mean, <laughs> you find mine's good pull rates. Seriously, this is quite bad. All right, Dedene, Luminion, Gabite, Tynamo, Cubone, Dredagon, Shroomish, Drifloom, Scrafty is a reverse, and then a Magmortar. So yeah, the whole point of this is to get to create some new PTC Geo decks, and a couple people have messaged, uh, you know, do we want to play? Um, I would prefer to. I think the what is right up my alley would be to play standard, um, doing like a theme deck battle. Yeah, I guess like I, I'm not against it, but that would be kind of what I would prefer. A couple people mentioned expand. I don't honestly don't know anything about the expanded meta game, and it's kind of tricky. Like I've not sure how I'm supposed to get the cards without, I don't know, unless I go on eBay and buy them. I did have to do that for, uh, what was it, like the Shining Legends Marshadow. And then Art, we did not get completely shut out. And um, let's take a look at this card, Drachi, because I feel like the Mewtwo decks are running it. And to be honest, I'm never really sure why. Don't apply weakness, uh, psychic weakness when Pokemon take damage from attacks. Uh, I don't think is that why they have this card search your deck for energy card and attach it to one of your all right so you can have ramp that feels like a waste to use Mew Mewtwo to ramp star shield 100 prevent all effects so I mean is this just for the psychic zone or something I'm not sure that's one thing about when you play PTC PTCGO against Mew Mew um unless you know all the animations I don't even know how <laughs> Oh, it's taking me out I'm sure it's following the rules but like it's like did some attack it could have been like 20 different things all I know is it did massive damage to me and I'm I'm my Pokemon fainted <laughs> all right so this was a pretty bad opening but we got what we came for but let's go over the pulls or reverse fairy energy yeah we're sticking with that three eighths hit <laughs> maybe even less for that one uh, Tortuga. All right, that's a good that's a good hit. 
And I feel like we're at seven of these so far for the number of packs we open. That's still alarmingly low. Jirachi GX, we'll take it. And then, boom. That's a really cool alternate arm. Mewtwo just, you know, Mew's back there just having a blast, and Mew's like, oh my gosh, you are so annoying. Um, yeah, so not a great opening, but we got the code cards that we're looking for. And uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on this product. And if you want to see more of these openings, let me know. We still also have those little tins, Pokeball tins, and obviously tons of hidden fates. Uh, don't worry, we're never, we're, well, we're, out, we're going to stop at some point, but we got a lot of product to hidden fates to open. So we're going to keep hunting for them. Shiny GXs for that Charizard. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.